What's up, YouTube? Um, this is Darkstar from Team Wildcard, and um, I'm I'm not sure if I said this or not in one of my in my duel video with a uh, another teammate of mine, Patman. Uh, I re-edited my Dark World Darkness deck. I took some Dark World monsters out because I found out that it's not really working out with the Dark World Darkness deck, but it doesn't heavily rely on Dark World Darkness. I mean, Dark World monsters. But all the monsters in there are dark. And you can run um, Dad in there, Dark Arm Dragon, or any other cards that may help that out. So let me get started with uh, the deck. First, I'll start off with two goats. They're good pretty much for special summoning and synchro summon with level three. Star Monsters, two Silvas, like same thing, and um, combine with Dark Deal, get their effects. Um, so really good. Two Brow, for some fact they help you draw, and um, Fish Currents, and that's all for the Dark World Monsters. Yeah, I. I took a lot of them, so there's only six now. Six, uh, Dark World monsters. Now on to the other monsters. Two card guard. Uh, found that very helpful to use in this deck format. And, um, yeah, really good card protectors. Two Karibos. Um, I have this, I'm searching in my iPads for, uh, another rarity of Karibo for that, like that. But, uh, yeah, they're really good defensive cards, especially for this deck. Um, two Snipe Hunters. Really good cards to use, um, especially if you get rid of your, to get rid of your opponent's cards. Um, one Dragon Lord. Uh, really good on, uh, especially the trap cards you run in this deck, or in the cards, negates your opponent's cards, and... Doing damage to order the life points or reborn monsters from the graveyard. And, um, yeah, here's the Swift Gaia. Um, I like them. Really good card to use, especially in this deck. Because you tend to, like, you can run out your hand. And, uh, I don't play with Fernities in this deck, but, uh, there's one of them. And I use it with Swift Gaia. So, um, it's a really good. A star setup for a synchro monster. Uh, really good defense and it's a staple. Uh, Spirit Reaper. Uh, Black Wing Shield. Um, really good card to use. It helps like with defensive flies. One Shrek of the Dawn. Really good monster to have out. Uh, Gores. Another good card to have in the deck. Staple, Morphin Jar, help you get rid of those Dark World monsters in your hand to either get them out on the field or to draw cards. One Pitch Black Werewolf, yeah, that's badly damaged, but um, looking for another one. Uh, help push back those uh, trap cards, and I, like I said before, I'd rather use uh, Pitch Black Werewolf and Raj Dragon. Then, uh, Jinzo, because push back this trap card to play a battle phase, so. Dark Tinker. Not only is a two star tuner, but you also get to search, look at the top card of your deck, and if you don't like it, just send it on the bottom. One Junk Synchron, if you get your two star monsters out in the graveyard. One Kaiko. One Hades. One stand game. Search for almost all the monsters in that um in this deck. Really good card. Um, Sky Sorge. Uh, can't get my hands on a Jinzo. Even though I like, like I don't know, I don't like using Jinzo once again. Not sure about it, but um, this is like their placement Jinzo for this deck. <coughs> Cause most of the monsters in there are fiends, so you can just tribute that to them. To get all trap cards, 
or you can use Gore's effect, contribute the token, which is going to be a light fairy type monster, to, uh, to get all spell cards. So, pretty much a win win. One breaker, one uh, dark resonator, three star tuner, one cyber valley. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, spell cards. Three Dark Well Lightnings. Help get rid of those cards. Two Book of Moon. Good defense. It's self explanatory. Two MSTs. Help get rid of those annoying face downs. One um, Fires of Doomsday. Really good defensive card. And uh, help you tribute. Probably, but most likely a good defensive. One pot of avarice to restack on your monsters into your deck. One swords. One creature swap. One card destruction. One dry and turnade. Gateway of Dark World to get those um, Sylvia back, whatnot, and then synchro, su synchro summon afterwards. My body is a shield. Really good staple card. And that's it for spells. Trap cards, two negate attacks, uh, the counter trap cards I was talking about, um, one bombless, one magic drain, uh, another counter trap card to get the uh, dragon lord out, threatening roar, call of the haunted, trap hole, uh, seven tools of bandit, um, under look card, under yeah, I like using it and the gate trap cards and stuff. Another counter. Divine Wrath. Once again, another counter. To get Dark Lord out. Trap Jammer. Um, just in case if you don't have Pitch Black Werewolf on the field, this is a good card to use too. Uh, Karma Cut. Um, I don't know if I want to keep Karma Cut in here. or may swap it for uh, Dimensional Prison. But, uh, this is also a good card to have. Uh, one Dark Deal. Like I said, uh, send those Dark World Monsters to hand by your opponent's card effect this time. Uh, Dust Tornado. And I have this card in there. It, like I said, it kills that Infernity Spell card combo. And, um, basically randomly useless. Like, any... Because that spell card, or that, that trap card, just destroys it. And one Rikiki Break. And that's it for my Dark World Darkness deck. And I hope uh, maybe feature this in tournaments, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, this is Dark Star, here and out. Peace.